1845, Europe is gripped by famine. Having escaped from South America, a deadly fungus, Phytophthora infestans, triggers a blight which kills every potato crop it touches. Everywhere in Europe where the potato was an important part of people's diet it was affected by a serious food crisis. La maladie de la pomme de terre, elle est insérée dans un autre ensemble de crises frumentaires qui entraînent, disons, des difficultés, des gens qui sont beaucoup plus faibles, des diarrhées, des dysenteries. An estimated 100,000 people die from famine-related causes, particularly in Belgium and in Holland and the Kingdom of Prussia. In Ireland, where a third of the population relies almost exclusively on the potato as its primary food, the famine will last seven years. Proportionately, this catastrophe kills one in eight of every person living on the island. That puts it amongst one of the greatest famines in global history. The Great Famine changed Ireland in so many ways. One million dead, two million emigrated. A mass of Irish migrants become refugees on the world's seas, desperate to build new lives. So they're starting the bottom in America. There is a ladder in America. And my God, do they climb. As with more recent famines, food is available, but only for those who can afford it. In the great hunger, it is only the poorest who will starve and die. Not all Irish people are descendants of people who suffered during the famine. Some Irish people are descendants of people who prospered during the famine. In the late 1840s, it's survival of the fittest in certain parts of the country. The famine occurs in one of the wealthiest parts of the world, in the British Empire. So how could something like this be allowed to have occurred? Great Britain fails Ireland in a catastrophic way. Neglect, indifference, cold-heartedness, insufficient humanitarian care for the Irish. All of those a million people were real, warm, living, flesh and blood individuals. There were sons, there were daughters, there were fathers, there were mothers, there were lovers, there were sweethearts, they were your neighbor. In relative time, we are actually quite close. We're maybe five or six generations away from the worst catastrophe in our history.